do you recognize these cupcakes that we posted on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. And since then, we've had so many messages asking for the recipe. And that is exactly what I'm gonna bake for you today. And I don't blame you because it is a squishy malted chocolate sponge filled with a semi-sweet chocolate whipped cream filling and finished with a chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream. It's divine and then it's topped with the thing that gives this cupcake its name, the almighty bourbon biscuit, which if you haven't noticed, if you haven't, you don't, don't, you don't know what these are, it's these. So basically it's kind of like a chocolate biscuit and it's filled with this chocolate cream center. They're divine. And the kind of brother, sister, like biscuit to this is a custard cream. They're kind of salt and pepper of the, of the biscuit world, basically. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the cupcake sponge. Now it's super quick, simple and easy. And it's our all-in-one method, which produces the most light, fluffy sponge. So I've already got a sieve set over the bowl of my stand mixer. And to that, I'm gonna add 125 grams of caster sugar, 85 grams of self-raising flour, 15 grams of cocoa powder, 25 grams of Horlicks, a pinch of salt, an eighth teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 135 grams of soft and salted butter, and two large free-range organic eggs. And then we'll put the paddle attachment on and start this on a slow speed so it doesn't fly everywhere. Then we'll crank it up to a high speed and get it whipping for about 30 seconds. Once your mixture is nice and light and fluffy, switch it down to the low speed and then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and one and a half tablespoons of whole milk. Beat that for another 30 seconds and once your mixture has come together, we're gonna spoon it into our 12 whole cupcake pan, which I've lined with cupcake cases, which you can get from cupcakegemma.com. I filled these about two thirds full and we're gonna bake them in the oven at 170 degrees for 18 minutes until when you push down on the sponge, it's nice and springy and springs back. Cupcakes are already out of the oven, they're cooling down under the racks, and it's time to get on with making the chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream, which is the most beautiful thing ever. I totally prefer it to like regular buttercream because it's just so smooth and silky, but it starts with a clean bowl. I've already put some vinegar in there and swished it around with some kitchen roll just to get it nice and clean. Did the same on the whisk attachment as well. And then I've got a pan with a little bit of water in the bottom, just get it simmering, and to that, I'm gonna add my egg whites. I've got 150 grams of egg whites. And I like to put these in the bowl of the stand mixer because this is metal and it conducts the heat really well. Like underneath, it's quite thin, so it's perfect. And it saves another bowl of washing up too. So to that, I'm gonna add my caster sugar. I've got 300 grams. And I'm just gonna give it a whisk over the heat until it's nice and smooth. Continue whisking for about five minutes-ish. This is quite a small amount, so it won't take long. Fill between your fingers. Once you can't feel any grains, you can take it off of the heat, pop it on the stand mixer with the whisk attachment and get it whipping on a high speed. It'll get nice and voluminous and nice and white and fluffy. And then once it's cool-ish to the touch, it should be like room temperature, you can start adding your cubes of butter piece by piece. Your butter needs to be nice and soft because that way it's gonna incorporate nice and easily. You don't want chunks of lumpy butter in your Swiss meringue buttercream. Lastly, to finish it off, I've got 300 grams of 70% chocolate already melted and cooled, and that's gonna go all in on a slow speed. Finish it with a pinch of salt, and once it's all combined, your icing is ready. I'm back, got my cupcakes, and I've got all my bits and bobs prepared. I've got the icing, the filling, and my bourbon biscuits. So I'm gonna start by coring them with my trusty apple corer. I know that you can actually get like a specific tool to do this with, but uh, this works just fine. So just core it, not down to the bottom, because if you go right down to the bottom, then the filling will kind of seep out into the case. But just a little bit down, Take all of the bits of cake out, you can eat them, do whatever you want with them, and then we'll fill it with the chocolate cream. 
This is like the best chocolate cream I've ever seen. And it was really simple to make. All I did was make a really simple ganache. It was half and half of chocolate and cream, 70 grams of each. And then heated that over a bain-marie just until it was nice and smooth and glossy. Popped it in the fridge just to cool down for a moment. And then I mixed it with some cream. You don't need to whip it a lot just until it becomes nice and smooth and it's a little bit floppy. And it will look exactly like this. So we'll just I'll pop this in a piping bag because it's so much easier to do that and you can get them nice and neat. And we'll just fill, fill, fill. Last one done. Now it's time to ice them. So I pop my icing in a piping bag with a nozzle. This is just like an open star nozzle. It's an Ateco 824. I always like to mention them because if you guys want to like get your hands on them and get your hands on this specific one, it's quite handy. So I'm just going to do a little flourish on top, make it nice and big and voluminous, and then we'll pop the biscuits on top. I always find the trick to piping, the quicker and smoother you go, the more confident you are, the better they will come out. I know it's easier said than done, but just give it your best shot. And if you don't like the way they look, you can always plop the icing off and go again. Last one done. Turns out I don't need to plop the icing off, but I've been doing this for such a long time, so you would think that I wouldn't. Anyway, last thing to do is pop the biscuits on. I've just cut them in half using a knife so they're really nice and neat, and I went steady in case they break. But that's it. Voila. Voila. <laughs> whichever, you, whichever you want to say it. Voila. They're done. So pretty, right? That swirl is just perfect. And the icing is so shiny. I'm in love. But I'm going to eat it because we don't make things not to eat them. Not not to eat them. So just look at this sponge. It's so fluffy and just moist and delicious. It's just a little bit chocolatey and it's got that malt powder in there as well. So it's just like, if you've ever had like Maltesers, the biscuit inside is malty. So the way to describe malty for me, is just like, it's a little bit of like a wheaty hmm, like you know, a bit like that. Anyway. Ooh. Delicious. I know I've got chocolate all over my mouth, but you can't, oh. You can see that. But look at that cream. Everything just looks so divine. Super shiny, everything. Oh, it's really good. Really, really good. I can see why you guys wanted the recipe. I totally can see that. Well, there's Sam and Nikki here and uh, I must share them with them. But until then, I hope that you make this recipe. And also, I'm gonna make sure that they put it in the store for you when this is out. So you can enjoy them too. I've still got a mouthful of cake, but I'm gonna leave it here because all has been said and done. But don't forget that our recipe book is out. It's out, you can order it right now. It looks so, oh, it's not behind. Oh, it's up here. Let me grab a copy because you need to see this. Look at how pretty this is. You can also order this cake on, from our website as well. I think I've still got chocolate around my mouth, but whatever. Um, it's the birthday cake. It's the epic superstar of the Crimson Doilies recipe book. So make sure you check out this book. It's beautiful. I mean, I won't show you too much because you have to buy the book. But I mean, just look at all of the beautiful pictures and the recipes. And if you're super slick, you could probably pause on like one of them and get all of the recipes. But that would be really bad. And I don't condone that. So just head over to crumbsanddoilies.co.uk and get yourself our new recipe book because it's the hottest baking book out there and you're going to love it. I'm going to share these cupcakes and uh, see you next time. Right, who wants one? Me, now. Okay. <laughs>